Have Tesla. some breaking news. Tesla shareholders have approved the Solar City merger by an 85% vote. So once again, Tesla shareholders approving that Solar City merger by 85%. Uh, overwhelmingly, the meeting is taking place right now. A lot of the votes were already in about three minutes ago, but it was pretty clear how quickly the vote took. Uh, in terms of uh, the actual meeting, you can also check it out on Live Go. So the Tesla shareholder meeting taking place right now on Live Go on your Bloomberg. In after hours trade, Tesla Motors off by two percent. Solar City bouncing around a little bit unchanged. Jim Chanos yesterday, Joe, was saying that obviously he's not a fan of Elon Musk, Tesla, or Solar City, but he was saying that shareholders ought to have their heads examined. He said that, right? Yes. I'm not, I, I thought he said that, too, and I'm wondering if I was Mr. No, no, he But he said, said they need to have their heads inspected if they vote for this. But 85% of the uh, shares voted in favor of it, so there you go. And there's Elon Musk, speaking of which, uh, live on stage right now at the Tesla shareholders meeting. Um, again, Elon Musk taking the stage here. He certainly counts this as a success because he had been pushing for this merger. A lot of people say, though, that this is a case of them being able to fund each other. It's a cash flow. Well, and part of it, you know, for a while there was a lot of skepticism in the early weeks after it was announced. There was a fairly big gap, so that's good news for him. And, you know, the other thing that Chanos acknowledged is that uh, uh, Elon Musk is a fantastic storyteller, a fantastic okay. capital raiser. So not surprising that the people in Tesla who believe his vision and be believe his story are inclined to go along with his vision of a com the combined entities. And on that news, Tesla Motors shares down 1% in after-hours trading. This is Bloomberg.